Okay, since I'm supposed to talk about medical, let's talk about the medical. Like I said, our ranch is 172 acres with 110 in open fields, different fields where you can rotate. But everything starts with quarantine. Uh, three week minimum quarantine is away from the ranch. It's totally separated, totally isolated. Um, when they come in, they get uh, vaccinated. They get uh, West, uh, five way with West Nile tetanus. They get dewormed. Occasionally we'll run fecal samples if we think there's an issue ahead of time. Um, what else they get? They get their uh, temperature taken to make sure we're not bringing in any kind of infection. Because we don't know. These donkeys are either they caught by us, they're at some impound lot of the sheriff's department. We have no idea any background on these donkeys. So that's why we're very careful. When you run a thousand donkeys on a, on a ranch, one comes in with something, strangles anything serious, we're screwed. So we're very cautious. This is actually our quarantine barn. It's kind of hard to picture, but that's the barn on the right. And these are all separate, isolated pins where the donkeys can wait out through three weeks. This is inside that barn. It's actually cattle management equipment, but we've kind of adapted it down to use with donkeys. And it just makes our life a lot easier to uh, work on. And that's, that's my little corgi butt down there. You can see that. And actually, I got a corgi because of the 180 miniature donkeys. My dogs got the hell kicked out of them by those minis. They could not get underneath the kicks. It's like they're Australian Shepherds and Border Collies. So now I got the corgi. He's going to get under the kicks. <laughs> <laughs> this was just a, a cute young donkey that was in quarantine, and I have no idea why Jack moved her up there for something, because the quarantine was empty at the time. And then we have medical bays. And these are actually in a different part of the ranch. This is a part of quarantine. And this is for... Um, Continual, any kind of, uh, if it's on any kind of like an antibiotic regimen or any kind of issue like that, it's up in the barn. The door behind there leads to uh, Jack's office. He's our ranch foreman, handles all the medical. And I don't know if you can see it, but a lot of people say, how do you uh, manage a thousand donkeys on a ranch? It seems a little, this board right here is our ranch. And it tells us the paddock number, how many donkeys are in that paddock the sex of the donkeys, how many brown bells they, they get every day, how many sacks of grain they get, everything to do with that. So anybody, because we, we have a lot of co college students that work part-time for us, and we move, we're always moving things around. So they can come, look at that board, and know exactly who's where, what they need. So I probably should have taken a picture just of that, because it is, it is a thousand animals. That's a lot of animals to handle. This is another one of our medical bays. This is Trace. And it's kind of hard to see because of the shadow, but her leg ends right there. She missed about yay much. And she came out of that big mini rescue, and we didn't know that until we actually went through and processed them all to find that she was lacking. And that's her baby. What's her baby's name? Stormy. Stormy. Um, and she came in pregnant like that. And we did. She, she didn't even look pregnant, but she was. Like I say, a lot of the uh, donkeys that come in are malnourished. So this is the alleyway that comes down, turns the corner, and it goes and connects all the paddocks. You can kind of see one of the, the paddocks here. But they're all kind of out that way. And so um, we grow our own fodder, uh, ryegrass fodder in our hydroponics room. And so we grind that up and mix it with 12% uh, pellet. And they all get about two, two and a half pounds. So anybody that's, the, mom, the nursing moms get it and then anybody that's skinny gets it. This is another one of our cattle management systems. This is for the ranch. We keep the quarantine guys and they got their own. The ranch got their own. We don't mix. And this is our uh, custom built squeeze tilt. Uh, I saw one, the BLM had one in Ridgecrest for horses and I thought, man, that's cool. So I called a company in Oklahoma and they built a two-thirds scale. This is Zach. Zach is our off-site vice president, handles all of our sanctuary donkeys. And so anybody that's too big or wild for Richard to trim safely, and that's usually the bigger jacks and our crazy mules, they go in this. And 12 minutes from the time they hook them up to the time they, they let them out. Two people can trim. As you can see, here's the fronts here. There's these bags, so two people can trim, and they just bam, 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 no sedation. They don't have to stagger around. We don't have to try to, you know, grab beans and I am. It just 
put them through and trim them. This is the ranch itself. All the peas are paddocks. Those are all about four acres each. Um, quarantine barn here, medical bay here. All the jacks stay over in these two pens, and this is their grazing field here, so they're totally isolated from the rest of the range. 